Hey, welcome back to my man cave and my channel. I'm not an expert. Today I was going to talk about the reliability or the repeatability or the accuracy of the leap powder measurer here. And I'll show you some simple results I found. I've always heard everybody talking on the internet about how accurate or inaccurate it is. This will give you some specific data on what I found about it. The um, scale that I'm using it's an AWS 100, bought it off Amazon. I also did buy some weights here to calibrate it, make sure that it's in the <clears throat> right category. <clears throat> make sure it's also linear as well as repeatable. So here's a 50 gram and it's set up for grams right now. So that's 50 and add another 20 on it, should come up to about 70. And we're 0 0.01 away there. Uh, add another 20 there, should come close to 90, still 0.1 away, and 99.9. Okay, for all my tests today, I'll be using the Lyant Powder Green Dot, and you can see, if you look real closely, it does have green dots in it. Okay, first I'm going to turn on my scale here. And this is the measuring I'll be measuring system I'll be using. Looks like a little measuring cup out of Country Lit Country Time Lemonade. Works great for me. Put it on there, zero it out or tear it out. And 0, 0.0. I'll bring this down a little bit here. This cup nets nests perfectly in there. And give it one full charge. Bring it on down. And it comes in at 3.7 grains. And of course, if I put the powder back up, back in there, bring this back down, it should come back to zero. And it does. So I'll do one more there just to show you. Give it a shot of powder. Bring it back down over. And it comes in at 3.7 grains. Okay. I did that 25 times, recorded all my data, then put it on a graph chart in Excel and did all the calculations for it. Turned out I averaged 4.1 grains plus or minus 0 0.3 grains, which works out to be plus or minus 7%. Um, just for reference, if you go to the data for green dot, and I have this set on 0.53, it should be coming out to 4.2 grains, so 4.1 grains, not too much of a difference there. So like I said before, every time I'm done using my powder in my Lee measurer, I empty everything out, turn it off, bring it on over here, and put it back into the box or the can here with the um, rest of it. And I was noticing that when I did that, you get some static cling there, you give it a tap and it falls down into there. So my question is, if I tapped the Lee powder feed every time, would I get more accuracy out of it? Okay, for the next 25 measures, what I did is put the, the tablespoon in there, tapped it, cycled it, tapped it, brought this back out, and weighed it. And that came out at 4.0, put it back in the top there, I can check it again, went back to 0, 0.0, put it underneath here, come up, oh wait, I was going to tap that first, then bring it all the way back and tap it again, and let's see, so this one came out at 4.1 there. I did this for a total of 25 times and I did this for a total of 25 times and here are my results 3.9 grains plus or minus 0 0.1 grains or plus or minus 2.6% you can see it made a huge difference 
Um, apparently there is a little bit of static cling to this powder and you can if you could see real closely this green dot is a flat circular disc type of powder and I'm guessing that if you went to a powder that had, was small and spherical you'd have less chances of the flat surface clinging to the sides of plastic and a better release and probably better accuracy so again the um, green dot without any tap, tapping just directly feeding was 4.1 grains plus or minus 3 or plus or minus 7 percent and the dispenser was vibrated or tapped 3.9 grains plus or minus 0 0.1 grains or plus or minus 2.6 percent and of course I had it on the Lee auto disc capacity 0.53 and it should have been 0.4 excuse me should have been 4.2 grains so you can see again 3.9 average and 4.1 and it should have been at the 4.2 and for those of you who are not familiar 1 over 70,000 pounds equals 0 0.1 grains so whether or not that's incredibly significant, I couldn't tell you. When I go out to the range, I'm sure I'm getting that same variation in the shells I load. I cannot tell the difference. But then again, the name of my channel is not an expert. So thanks for stopping on by. Talk to you later.